Hey, what's up, guys? All right, this is the final segment of the uh, Calusa Indian bow build. Uh, it's finished, um, and I'm actually going to be sending this off to my good friend Pat, the Allergic Hobbit, on YouTube. Um, what I'm doing to it right now is polyurethaning it, and I know everybody's like, no, don't do that. Well, there's a reason I'm doing it. A couple of reasons, actually. Number one, it weather seals the thing. Um, that is a piece of mangrove. I don't know how this wood acts. I've, this is my first mangrove bow as far as moisture goes. I've shot it a bunch. Shoots incredible. It's a great bow. Number two, um, <clears throat> I sinew backed it and I used hide glue. And we all know that hide glue is water soluble. And if you get a bow wet with hide glue, it'll delaminate. Um, so what I did to stop that from being a problem for my friend Allergic Hobbit is uh, I, after letting it cure for like a month, after hide gluing sinew in it and everything, letting the sinew shrink and cure for a month, I, uh, after doing that, I took Tight Bond 2, which is weatherproof, not waterproof, but it is weatherproof, meaning it can be rained on. You know, you can't soak the thing underwater, but it can be rained on, and it'll keep the rain out. And I smeared that over all the sinew, the back of the bow. That way it kind of sealed in the hide glue and the sinew. Because hide glue, man, you, you get it rain, a good rain will freaking delaminate your bow. So that weatherproofed the sinew. Now I'm polyurethaning both the sinew side and the wooden side to just water seal it all the way. Now some of you are going to say, why didn't you use Type Bond 3? It's waterproof. Because it leaves a color. Type Bond 2 is somewhat transparent. Uh, it's kind of a yellowish. Let me see. See the spot right here? It's kind of yellow. But for the most part, it's pretty transparent. Um, and uh, Type Bond 3 is like... It's like a brown color, um, or like it kind of dries a little transparent, I guess. But either way, I always use Type Bond 2. It is weatherproof, it's not waterproof. Type Bond 1 is not waterproof or weatherproof at all. I don't use it much. Um, this is out here just because it's all I had laying around one day and I was doing something. I think I might have made an arrow with it or something, but. This is what I usually use, Type Bond 2, premium wood glue, weatherproof. I oil it with this first. I've oiled this bow probably 12 times. It's usually what I do about 12 times. Every now and then I'll find a rough spot with my thumb, and I'll take some 220 grit sandpaper, and I'll sand that rough spot out and then oil it again. So it ends up being about 12 times I oil it. Then after it's dried out and the oil is soaked into the wood real good, then I polyurethane it. Um, I'm, I only do one, maybe two coats, and they're back-to-back. -back. I wait about 15 minutes in between. That's the very last of my polyurethane, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on there just because it's the last of it. But um, then I'm going to let the sucker dry for about three days, and then it's going in the mail, Pat. And... Uh, I left you a message on one of your videos the other day asking you to please uh, hit me up with your email, or in my email address, hit me up with your physical address, so I hope you did. Um, sorry the mulberry bow didn't make it to you. God, that was a good bow, but like I told you in the message, uh, this is my carport. I don't have a garage. This is where 